on stage. You have read about him on the internet. You've probably seen him all over posters all around the world because he's travelled to nearly every country, every corner of the globe, teaching people strategies, tactics, things to do to take you from where you are now to where you want to get to. Because if you haven't got a blueprint, if you haven't got a roadmap, and if you leave here starting at A but not knowing how to get to Z, well, you won't get to your final destination. Now, this guy wants to tell you all about that today. He wants to go right through to the nitty-gritty keys. Who wants to learn that kind of thing? I mean, not some fluff. Not some kind of just tell you a little bit and then think, well, what did he really mean? He wants to go right to the heart of it, right to the, who knows what a peach is? A peach. Okay, a fruit. What's in the middle of a peach? A stone. He wants to tap right into the middle of that stone, right in the middle. And he wants you to take copious amounts of notes because if you take action, if you implement what he's about to teach you, you will be a success online. Who would like to take massive amounts of action and massive copious amounts of notes? Anyone? Anyone? Well, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. Come on. Upstanding. And folks, I want to hear the girls yell out yes. The boys yell out yes. All the way from the United States of America, please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Stephen Pierce. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Pierce. Give him a big clap, folks. How many of you have at least 30 minutes available in your day? Okay, here's the thing. If you have at least 30 minutes available each day, I guarantee you I can work a financial breakthrough in your life. Guaranteed. I've done it for many people. How many want to use 30 minutes per day to experience a financial breakthrough? Okay, here I have a question for you. By show of hands, how many of you in here have dreams? Come on. Now, keep your hands up. Now, I want you to keep your hands up if you are fully, 100% living the life of your dreams. Right. And that's pretty much why we're here, right? I mean, we can pretend that this whole thing is about internet marketing and all this kind of stuff, but listen, bottom line is we're looking to live a certain type of dream life. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm here. Now, listen. I may not be fully living the life of my dreams, but the hell that I used to live in, I'm not there anymore, okay? And I understand the position that it is you're in, because I used to be in that position, but let me tell you this, I was in a worse position than where you are right now. Actually, you're pretty fortunate to have the opportunity to be in this room, extremely fortunate to have the opportunity to be in this room, because I didn't have the chances that you have. You have a huge head start well ahead of where it was when I decided to get started and turn, around, uh, turn my whole life around. So what it is we want to do is show you proven ways that you can completely turn your life around. Completely turn your life around. And so you can have an understanding of where it is I've come from. I don't have a formal education, what's considered high school and a college education. How many of you have one of those? Like a degree or something like that? Okay, well I don't have that. Okay? How many of you in here have jobs? All right, well, you know what? I didn't have that. That's probably my fault, but, you know, I didn't even have that. Okay? How many here ever filed bankruptcy before? Bankruptcy? Wait a minute, do you have bankruptcy out here? <laughs> All right, well, nobody in here has filed bankruptcy? Man, talk about fortunate. I filed it twice. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, you guys really got it good. I filed it twice. I mean, anybody in here ever been homeless before? You do have homelessness out here, don't you? Okay. Anybody? Okay, so we have a few people. Well, I was homeless also. Now I have a question for you. How many of you have ever been shot before? <laughs> shot? Come on, I know somebody here has been shot. Okay. She's been shot? I can understand a guy getting shot, but a female getting shot. I mean, come on. 
But you know what? I've been shot, and that moment is something that sticks with me because it reminds me of what not to do. Okay? It, it does. The bullet is still on my leg, and it's a reminder of what it is I shouldn't be doing in my life. And here's the thing. It was at that point in my life I decided to turn everything around. I decided, you know what? I'm going to go for the good. I'm going to leave the bad alone. I'm going to turn my life around. And I wanted to be an entrepreneur just like you. I wanted to make tons of money, have all kinds of wealth, have all kinds of success, be able to take care of my family, do all the things I wanted to do, when I wanted to do them, with whoever it is I wanted to do it with. Doesn't that sound like you? Right? So I go on this journey, and it's like every single business I pursued just continued to collapse and fall and more debt and more problems. And it's like, wait a second, I was doing better when I was doing bad. You know what I mean? But listen, it's like, but I was committed, I was committed to, you know, going the right path. But it was extremely hard. It was extremely, extremely hard. And there's something that I found out. When I was doing that, I found out that there were really two kinds of people. You know, forget this stuff about beginners and, and all this. There's really two kinds of people. There's those that want to succeed and those that must succeed. And for the most part, I think the majority of you, you just want to succeed. It's just a good idea. It's just a good idea. Let me ask you this. How many of you have ever been to an event before or you had the opportunity to do something, to change your life around, to grow a business, start a business, or do something, and you didn't do it? Raise your hands. This is not about condemnation. Well, here's the thing. You're intelligent people. At least uh, statistically, if you have an education as far as some kind of document, you're much smarter than me, at least on the books. But you have the opportunity to change your life around and you don't do it? I mean, because success, at least... Up to that point, it's just a good idea. It's just something you want, but it's not something that you absolutely must have. And I got introduced to what a real must was. 